and welcome to my guide of the quest The Eyes of Glufry. The quest requirement is the Grand Tree and the stats requirements are 46 magic and 5 construction. The items needed is a mud rune, which you can easily buy from the clan exchange or you could buy it from the magic training arena, just north of the dual arena or you could just make it yourself but therefore you will need 13 rune crafting. 1 oak and 1 maple log, a knife, a pestle and mortar, an empty bucket, a saw and a hammer. Also, you'll need the teleportation method back to the Three Gnome Stronghold. The fastest method should be the Slayer Ring, but since I don't have it, I will be using a Varak teleport to go to the Grand Exchange. You'll also need some weight reducing armor and maybe 1 or 2 stamina potions because we don't need to fight anything during this quest, you don't need to bring armor or weapons except for that 6 level 1 monsters with 1 HP and then lastly we will also need a teleportation method to Hazelmere it is the same NPC that we needed to talk to during the Grand Tree quest the fastest method to go to Hazelmere is using the fairy ring and using the code CLS the second fastest method should be using the minigame teleport to go to Nightmare Zone. If you can't use that, uh, the third fastest method should be a teleport to your house if it is located in Yanil or the Watchtower teleport. If you can't do any of these, then you could use a dual ring charge to go to Castle Wars, a, use a minigame teleport to Fishing Trawler, or just go from the quest start to the spirit tree inside of the three gnome stronghold use the spirit tree to go to the three gnome village and run from there where to start this quest is simply west of the bank inside of the three gnome stronghold next to the dungeon sign you will find a quest sign and a cave entrance enter the cave entrance and you should find Brimsdale talk to him Select the first option, what a cute creature is wandering around. Then select the first option again, that sounds fascinating. Then select the first option once again, I love a bit of history. And now you just need to keep pressing your spacebar to skip all this dialogue. First option, of, of course. After the conversation is over, let's go north and go deeper inside of his cave. North to the wall you will find a machine. Click on the uh, eastern side and use the exchanger. Then close it. Then take a step west and try to unlock the machine. Click to continue. Then go take a couple of more steps uh, west, west of the machine and you should find a panel look at it, then close next go south and you'll find a little uh, abyss or something like that instead of that stone next to that abyss you'll find a singing bowl just left click on it then click to continue and let's return to Brimstale Brimstale should always be the southern yellow dot and talk to Brimstale. Select the first option that you've looked inside of the room. Keep pressing the spacebar. And select the first option, yes. And now we will need to go to Hazelmere. So use one of the teleportation methods to go to Hazelmere that I have set at the start of the quest. I will be using a Varak teleport to go to uh, the fairy ring just west of the Grand Exchange. But first I'm going to need to grab my Dramon staff because I haven't completed the Elite Diaries yet of Lumbridge. You could also simply use a uh, Nightmare Zone teleport.
Alright, when you're arrived at Hazelmere's hut, go to his door, open the door and climb up the ladder. Next, talk to him. And now just keep pressing the spacebar until he will do some uh, telepathy. You will see a cutscene of, of him using some kind of magic poking inside of your head. After that uh, little cutscene is over, you will be able to talk to Hazelmere uh, perfectly. And then after the conversation is over, you will see a two minute cutscene. This should take approximately two minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Alright, after the cutscene is over, you will get a Violet Pentagon in your inventory. And after you have this, you will need to go back to Brimstale. I will be using a Varak Teleport. And now I'm going to run to the Grand Exchange. So I can use a Spirit Tree there to go to the uh, Gnome Stronghold. If you've already unlocked the Slayer Ring, that is a cheaper and faster method. Now on your way to uh, the No Stronghold, maybe use your Pestilent Mortar on the Mother Rune to grind it into dust. Use a Spirit Tree and get yourself to the No Stronghold. And now let's go to the bank. If you have also noted your logs for more weight reduction just like me, go to the bank and unnote them. Next, go south of the bank, climb downstairs and take a couple of steps southeast and you should see a regular tree that actually looks like an evergreen. Use your knife on it and you'll get a bucket of sap. Use your bucket of sap on the mud runes and you'll get magic glue. Now let's go west and return to Grimsdale. You could bank your pestle and mortar and knife, but because we don't need them anymore, but that's a little bit waste of time. Just let's go to Grimsdale, talk to him, say that you've visited Hazelmere, the first option.
After the cutscene is over, let's talk to Brimstale again. Select the first option, I suspect that the machine is broken. Just skip through the dialogue. Let's go north and let's return to that machine to check it out. We will now need to uh, fix it. But we already got all the materials, so just click on the uh, machine to repair it. Click on it again to repair and we'll start repairing it. Alright, when you now try to unlock the machine, you'll find the first puzzle. But first, let's return to Brimstale and tell him that we have fixed the machine. Brimstale should be the most southern yellow dot. Okay, never mind. Let's talk to him again. Say that you fixed the machine. Keep pressing the spacebar and he will give you a couple of discs. Let's talk to him again. Say that you can't work out how to do it. And, who should, and he should give you a couple of more discs. Alright, when you have some more discs, let's return to the machine and let's start the quests puzzle. Now this puzzle is actually quite easy with some elementary school maths. What we need to do is insert discs into the machine equal to the number that is it displayed. Now the displayed number is random for every player. So if you try to unlock it, you'll see a random number. And we will need to unlock it with just inserting one disc, which is equal to that number. Now the value of every disc is the value of its color times the number of sides that it has. I have set the disc values on the screen. So for example, my first number is 7 and I will need to insert one disc. And the only way to get 7 is by having a violet circle which has one side and has the color value of 7. So one side times the value 7 is 7. That is the only way to get 7. Since I don't have that uh, disc in my inventory gotten from Brimstale, just go to the exchanger one step west from the machine. And then let's uh, use the Violet Pentagon because it has such a high value, it is very, very unlikely that we will ever need it. Click on it, you will see that it is in your character's hand. Next, click on the hole in the top left of the screen to insert it. Next, in the center, you will find two arrow keys. Click on Change Disk. Now you just need to keep clicking changing the disk types until you have the required disk so that that has the same value of that number that you need to have. So for me, I will need to keep changing disks until I have a violet circle. Well, if it seems that you are unable to uh, get the desired disk, just Click on the uh, red X to cancel, insert another one, insert a disk and now just keep changing the uh, disk values until you have your desired disk. Alright, when you have your desired disk, click on the green V to accept the exchange. Close it, use the machine, use your disk, insert the disk, you'll see that the red square has transformed into green. Click on it to OK, you will unlock the glass door. Once you try to operate it, you will see that we will need to do it three more times. The first number, we will need to unlock it by inserting one disk. 
the second by inserting two discs and the third one by three. So I will definitely need a indigo uh, square. So once again, like the first puzzle, just uh, insert the discs until you have the required number. If you don't have the discs, just close it, go to, to the exchanger and try to insert the disc and change it into until you have the desired discs that you want. Alright, I got it. Accept the change. And this should be my first done. Now I need a 5. This is either 4 and 1. This is actually 4 and 1. That's it. A 4 is a red square or a green circle. I got this. Insert this one, 1 plus 4, and then we will just need 12 plus 12 plus 1. After you fix the puzzle and all the three red squares are now green, click on Accept Transaction and you'll see a fade out. Also, you'll see a shortcut scene of the cute creatures turning into evil creatures. Now we just need to kill all six of these uh, evil creatures which are actually spies for Glaffrey. We will just need to kill them and complete our quest. Let's go east after the cutscene is over and return to Brimsdale. Which I find quite weird because in the cutscene we see our character next to Brimsdale but Never mind that, let's talk to Brimstale. Let's select the first option that you've uh, fixed the machine. Keep pressing the spacebar. And he will say that you will need to kill these evil creatures. Attack it. It will just have 1 HP. And this is the first one dead. Let's go outside of the cave and kill 5 more of these creatures. Exit the tunnel. And let's go east to the uh, main gate. That is the uh, most nearest one. Now on your way to the main gate you can drop your discs because we have already fixed the machine and these are quite useless now. Alright, when you've arrived to the gate somewhere near the main gate you should find another evil creature. Kill it. Next, let's go north and let's go to the spirit tree. Somewhere near that spirit tree we should also find a evil creature. Keep going north until you see a transportation sign 
kill that evil creature next to it. And now let's go northwest. We're now going to the uh, gnome swamp. So just keep going northwest until you see the uh, gnome ball. And just north of the gnome ball, you should find a swamp. Just go east of the swamp, outside of the fence. And now we just need to go to the tortoise's pen. And northeast of the swamp, you should find a small gap in the fence. And somewhere near that entrance to the pen, you should find another evil creature. Kill it. And now let's go east. Exit the pen. Now just keep going east and let's go to the king. Alright, here in the Grand Tree, next to the king, you'll find the fifth evil creature. Kill it. And now we just need one more. Let's climb up the ladder to the top floor. Next to the glider and the prison, we will find the last evil creature. And you will now get a message in your chat box that you need to tell the king. Let's do that and let's climb down the ladder to the main floor, talk to the king and we will have completed our quest. Keep pressing the spacebar until you will get a nice experience drop. Congratulations, you've completed the Eyes of Glovery quest. You are awarded with 2 quest points, 12,000 magic experience, 6,000 runecrafting and 250 construction. Also a mysterious small crystal seed. Next, let's exchange this small seed into a crystal saw. To do this, we will need to return to Brimstale's cave. The use of the saw is to give you a permanent, invisible, plus 3 construction bonus when you have it in your inventory. So let's go to Brimstale's cave, then just go deeper inside of it, and just south of the machine that you've just fixed, walk across the crystal bridge, then use your seed on the singing ball to see a short animation and we'll see that you have a crystal saw in your inventory. Now one note, that uh, plus 3 construction bonus that you now have because you have the saw in your inventory is only there when you use it to make things that require a saw in your house, which is pretty much everything except for when you need to make a room or something in the garden. Now the catch is that this saw will revert back to a seed after building 28 things. Now you just need to return to Brimstale's cave, return to the singing bowl, use your seed on it, and your seat will be made back into a saw. This was my guide how to complete the Ice of Glove request. Hopefully it helped a little bit. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.